What's up guys and welcome to episode 10 of Mass Effect. Resume. All right, last time we actually had some fun. We picked up a doctor, um, talked to a bunch of people, killed some geth. I have no idea what we're going to do this time. Maybe explore a few systems. I don't know. There's a few things that we got to do here. You know what? Nick and I have been playing Elite Dangerous. We've been really in this space vibe lately, so Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Dang it! I just I'll got here and I got called. <sighs> Patch it through. I'll take it in the comm room. I'll take it in the comm room. Great. You thought you were gonna adventure. How about you go get scolded? Commander Shepard. We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Uh-oh. Now you're helping me? Tell me. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Infiltration units? You mean spies. Ooh! Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. They're cheaper. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. Okay. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Vermeer. All right, cool. Thanks for the info. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. Okay. We only want you to be aware of all your options. We don't want any Vermeer. responsibility. For we'll anything you that you do, Commander. Else. Paragon plus two. Let's go. Accepting missions, accepting work it makes you good. All right, back to adventuring. Let's finish out this system. We already did the rum, and I think we did. Yeah, we did everything in this uh, solar system. So that leaves did we go to sparta macedon athens did we go to sparta though i'll go look at sparta and if i yeah we'll see if i remember that was like two episodes ago treminar okay nothing's here uh, these names don't look familiar out there well, maybe. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Okay, cool. Edelus is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Mmm, yummy. Edelus' surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand and only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. It's congested with debris, inwards by gravity of the gas giant on Antamalka. Due to the high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. Let's go! Danger is his middle name. All right, we're taking Liara and Tally, because I need that tech. Or did Caden have higher tech? Go for it. Uh, we may need to level up Liara. Kid and Ashley gotta be salty that I keep taking out all the aliens. That's cool. There's like currently meteors flying into the earth. Or asteroids. Meteors are the ones that hit? I don't remember. Uh, we gotta level her up. She doesn't have electronics at all. 
Alright, well, now she's got electronics. And we are going for gold. And she can be a scientist. She doesn't have specialization in any guns. What is warp? Wreaks havoc on subatomic level. Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time. Or barrier. Kinetic shield of the mass effect field that can absorb a massive amount of damage. Each point spent increases. Okay, so let's. let's and then what do we get? Singularity? I'm gonna go warp. Full levels out. Let's go. And then we'll get this singularity, which projects a sphere of dark energy that creates an intense mass effect shield. That sounds fun. And it's fully leveled up. Okay. Um, I think barrier would be useful. And then stasis. Man, she's got so many abilities. She's actually going to be difficult to use. <laughs> sure, we'll give her stasis as well. Anybody else got points? Alright, we need to also do equipment for her. The Avenger 5's better. Ooh, Raptor 5 is even better than that. The Raptor 5 is the same as that. Banshee. Lancer? What is this garbage Lancer doing here? Goodbye. And then Avenger 2. What is this? Three episodes ago? Alright, we'll give her the Tornado don't think anything's better than the tornado. I think those are her guns that she gave us. Give us better things. Alright, you can have this. Getting rid of that Kessler. Uh, the Reaper does 130. Alright, we'll give you the Reaper as your sniper, but... Ooh, Equalizer does 175. Its heat capacity is kind of gross, but its accuracy is better. We're going to give you the equal Equalizer. Nice sound of asteroids nailing the ground. Meteors. Someone tell me what it is. Um, go ahead. This cipher tool is better. Yeah, these are all garbage. And then... Alright, get rid of these ones. No one likes ones. That armor is not better. It has better shields by a lot, so we're probably going to have to go with that. Uh, that's her armor that she had. She can wear human armor? Interesting. All right. Uh, she might be a little squishy. We will find out. Go ahead and Omni Gel. All junk. And since she doesn't really have anything specialized she uses, we might as well upgrade her raptor with shield bypass. Sure, that sounds like the right choice. And her armor can be upgraded with damage protection, shield recovery and hardening, smash damage. Hmm. 100 to shields? Yeah. Help her out. She's got 200 in shields. If anyone has anything that penetrates shields, she's screwed, though. Alright, let's go ahead and scum save this. And, uh, check the map. Alright, it looks like we've got several question marks and some ruins. Let's take care of the ruins first. Whee! Is that one of the question marks? Is that the ruin? Ooh, that's cool. Bonnie told me about a photo mode. Alright. Photo mode. Yeah! Alright, let's see. 
orbit. No, free, dang it. Okay. Tilt. Yeah, nice zoom out from it. Or maybe a little closer, like a 24 millimeter. Enable depth of field. I think off. Blur strength. Saturation, brightness, contrast. Filters. Ooh. What? What? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Go black and white. What else we got? Bloom strength. Hide player, hide party, hide enemies. Hide vehicles. No, we want, we want the makeup. I, think. I do kind of like the... Bloom strength, bloom threshold. What if we reduce saturation? Just makes it black and white. Let's see. Is that 50%? It's almost like a sunrise, maybe. Turn up the contrast. Why does it make it so dark? Interesting. I kind of like that, though. What is going on here? That's kind of like an old style. I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going with this. It's got like a decent like fuzz to it almost. All right, and uh, close. Thank you for your patience, guys. Anyway, where are we going? We're facing too far to the right. We're like directly behind us is where we gotta go. We gotta go up the mountain. Is this all you can throw at me, Soraman? Come on. We've got a Skyrim horse in this game. <laughs> Conquered it. You guys seeing the ruins? A little more to the right. Is that them over there? Maybe should have gone for the scoop and instead of just. Oh, come on! Yeah, we made it. Okay. Oh, they're right there. There they are. And uh, something else. Is that, like minerals. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Here we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? All right. All right, Tally. Oh, no, never mind. It's just lithium. Market for pickup. And survey it. Let's go. A, B, B, X, A. Nailed it. Light metal surveyed. You get a lot of XP for just surveying. All right. Let's go over... Here. We. Oh, 
Oh my god. All right, Tally, this time. We got this. Let's go. X, A, Y, A, B, B, X, A. Oh my gosh, that was a long one. We got stabilizers, buffers, and armor upgrades. Let's go. This is how it's done. How'd you get all your loot, Shepard? Well, they don't pay me enough, even though I'm a specter. I just picked it up off of random crash sites around the galaxy. Alright, we had two question marks north of us. Mummified Solarian? Cover artifact? Y, X, Y, A, Y, Y. Nice, another tag. All right, well, that must mean that the last question mark, which I'm pretty sure is, yeah, due east, west. You know what I mean. Weast. Can I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> no, depth of field just makes everything blurry and I don't like it. What else they got here? I still like this one weirdly. I think it's like the vintageness of it, maybe. I don't know. That's interesting. You could turn it off, and it's like, what does that look like? That's weird. I think I'll keep it on, and then. I don't know what that's doing. Another one. This is how I should have made the thumbnails. And by I, I mean too risky. I haven't changed my background on my Xbox in so long because it's like, it's the Hendraheim from uh, Skyrim. And it just seems so cozy every time I log in because it's like the inside. It's great, I love it. Oh no, that's a big one. Got the dune worms over here. What? What's wrong with my cannons? Oh, those are my sh machine guns. Oh crap. Why can't I shoot cannons? Oh, now you shoot. Last time I fought one of these, it was a close battle. We're smarter now, right? There we go. Stay away! Oh no, he's got his little little dinglies out. That sounds bad. There's sensory tentacles, okay? Uh oh. 
is chasing us. I can't run into him. Oh, jeez. I missed. He's damaged our wheels. Oh, he is right behind us. How do you like that, you dune worm? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Back up, ah! More of these? Oh no. Pull around the sauce. I think we're just pissing them off. Go ahead and repair. Do it. Do it faster. Repair faster. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh my gosh. Go! Go! Oh, he is not happy with us right now. Did I miss that again? Spray and pray, spray and pray. Tick. He's just shaking the whole screen. Come on, you thresher. Ah, he's spitting poison at us. Oh, he's gonna do his tentacles. Please don't do your tentacles again. Those kinda suck to fight. I'd rather just shoot you. Yeah! He's almost dead. Where'd, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Die! I think we got him. Oh no, he's, what? We got him? He just left? That doesn't look like they made it. Doc, can you check them out? Are they okay, Doc? Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. It appears these men were under the command of Admiral Kohoku. He will want to know what happened. Great, now I gotta report what happened to his men. They got eaten. Don't worry, I looted their bodies. Can we destroy this? This is just gonna pull more people here. I can't destroy it? This doesn't make any sense. That thresher is just gonna come back. It didn't die. It just bailed. Not my problem. I did my job. Okay, cool. Adoles, Trimanar, and they, uh, what about this one? Ontamalka. Al Sages. I'm pretty sure we already did do this system, but I just didn't get that distress signal. Does that mean going back to systems actually has worth? Who knows? Didn't we already go to the Hades Gamma? Pharos. Vermeer's all the way over there. Man, okay. Then let's go to the Voyager cluster. We've got Amazon. And that's it. That makes it easy. Let's go, Space Gun!
They're like, hear me out, hear me out. What if we just shot you across the nation? Or across the galaxy? Nation. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. <laughs> That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Okay. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Okay, uh... That's serious, all right. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. He knows we don't have anyone... The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. <sighs> it shouldn't be over there. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Oh, man. All right, we'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. All right, Ashley, I got a job for you. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Agabignium. Tremar. We can survey Tremar. What do we find? A gas deposit. And on Sibin, we can survey Sibin. Turian insignia? Nope. And on Son. Is it Sondma? Or Sonidma? You tell me. Uh, let's go ahead and survey that. Rare element. And then we got Der. Dernuka? Dernuka. That planet Dernuka. You should see some of the planets that Snicker and I have been discovering in Elite Dangerous. Agibinium. Cool, we can land on Agibinium. Agibinium is a small terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Though the planet has sufficient mass of mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere much of it has been blasted away the red giant amazon is a long period variable star currently on the nadir of a 16 year cycle at peak its energy output doubles lashing agibinium 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 <laughs> with intense heat and radiation aluminum deposits of tin let's go <laughs> who should we take this time Um, it doesn't like terribly matter, I guess. Well, maybe we'll find something. We didn't really have much to do on that last one, so I'll just bring the same crew. I am the firepower. Edge Nib Edge Babinian. All right, we got three things. So we want to took a right, took a right. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. Picture time! Oh, Line this up right along here, like so. 
go into here. Do one of these. Edge in the beginning. the red sun let's see what the effects do to this thing ooh 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 what I still like this one the best it's got like the weirdest results like a look at that that's kind of cool very focused. And we're out of here. See, he takes all these pictures and then he makes postcards and that's how, uh, that's how Shepard makes his extra cash. That and scanning those keepers. It's too open out here. And see a thieves usually a kraken will get you if you're out in this much open water hey okay so this place looks like we're gonna have to run around in it anybody home Understood. are they matching that was an accident The signal is coming from a mine? A trap. It has to be. I concur. This did not crash. Someone moved it here. Uh, doesn't change our objective. Oh, wait, this is where it is? Okay, cool. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. We believe in All the right, good Shepherd. of humanity. They may be just like. We're like, it's scrap. Now you really gotta step it up, girls. Shepard can't do it alone. It's over here. Nothing. Maybe you should have brought Caden instead of Tally. Same powers, but a little bit more firepower. Better armor, too. Hello? You guys might have a nuclear bomb on you. I'm with the government to take it away. Actually, I'm with the uh, humans to cover it up so that the uh, council doesn't know. What's this? That's a lamp, Shepard. Oh. That's why I bring the scientists with me. It's like drills. Like, are these the drill bits? They look like giant drill bits. Is anyone here? This is eerie. I don't like it. This door doesn't open. So deeper they went. A mine. <laughs> ah! I jumped. I straight up jumped. Someone did that on purpose. Shepherd, at last. <laughs> I legitimately was scared. <laughs> My heart jumped. <laughs> Who are you? You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. <laughs> the strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. 
Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Burge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. <laughs> He just talks all the crap. There's a nuke in front of him. He knows this is a trap. Doesn't care. The largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the ores here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? I'll kill him! We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. <laughs> See if there's anything in here we can use. There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb before it goes off. Uh, let's just override it. Wait. Override it. Wait. He didn't realize I'd been stuck piling all this Omni gel. Oh my gosh, this is the longest. Woohoo! Can we not go back the way we came? Was that it? Alright. Good job, team. Imagine if I hadn't been stockpiling the Omni Gel and you have to hack those three different things. Upgrade kit. Nice. What the? Can we call the Mako? We're next to the ruins. Do we go up to the ruins then? Come on, team. Why are you guys just standing there? I think I found the ruined stuff. A, A, X, X, Y, X. All right. Um, one more question mark. So we turn straight around. And it says the Mako's down here. Mako, Mako. No one's told me how to say it yet. I'm done watching Korra, so you're just going to get whatever comes out of my mouth. Oh, it's like right down there. We just ended up on top of this cliff? Uh-oh. Okay. You 
die already? Use Unity. Map Unity. Adrenaline. Oh, no, I want this one. Can you guys actually shoot at him? There we go. Finally. Who's calling right now? In the middle of something. Hobbit plays. Oh, jeez. How are they better at sniping than us? There we go. Some of those headshots. There we go. Bam. One left. Hallie, it went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re-established connection to the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. Never saw that coming, huh? What? Where? Where? I think we're done here. So we are done here. Wait, there's one more question mark. You know what they say about curiosity and cats? have to like do this to recover an art artifact like that's picking his pockets is like that I have to like and that one's like a gross dusty corpse Ooh. Whew! didn't realize we were so popular probably get another call while I'm trying to go do something All right, that is the Amazon system. That was the bomb. Now we're headed to Attica Beta. Hercules, Pharos, Pharos. Go to Hercules. I should ask, like, my crew if what they think about the whole, uh... Message coming in. Oh, never mind. Patching it through. Joker doesn't even ask anymore. <laughs> We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on gather activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. All right. We need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Zathorian. Zatorus. Ooh, it's like green and yellow. It's two colors at once. This one, finally, there's a planet with some rings. Ooh, and it's pretty. Okay, hold on. Zathoran. Or is that Zathoran? Or Zakthoran? Zaydid? Zaydid. Medallion, sweet. All right, cool. Elen, Elentia, or or Eletania, Eletania, Eletania. Whatever it is, we're landing on it. 
It appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered with a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen that possesses a thick, oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. In short, settlement required either fully sealed environment suits or replacements of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiotic range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear <laughs> the very air you breathe <laughs> uh, I've been missing you Garrus I'm bringing you and Liara I'll still bring you except for actually wait sorry I gotta bring Caden because I need some tech string how much is the tech is the... no that's not what I wanted she's got way better tech alright same squad it is let's go you know, Liara's the new hot cheese, so of course I want to bring her along. But then we need some tech strength, otherwise we can't hack anything. Look at there's grass! Poisonous, deadly grass! Medal of Exploration. Eight uncharted worlds. What's that? You guys see that? There's something floating over there. Oh, we have some level ups. Nice! Hmm. Fitness? Nice. Hmm. Upgrade her barrier that we didn't use. Hmm. Upgrade her decryption. Hmm. We don't have anything else. All right, it looks like we've got a question mark to our left. We got a X over here. That's the down recon probe. That's the debris. All right, let's go get the recon probe. I do like the green though. Ooh, we might be able to find some cool pictures with the, the rings. It's kind of nighttime though. Oh, whoa! All right, you know, we got to find a picture spot. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Tiny little mako. And then let's look at the... Alright, if we turn saturation up. Maybe like a 70 saturation. Turn the brightness down just a bit. And keep it up. Turn the contrast up. Filters it is. Ooh. Ooh. kind of cool looking but we've been using that one a lot and I kind of liked I kind of liked its natural colors that foreground's kind of poopy but maybe we can get rid of it The dirt's still like kicking up under the car, you see that? Okay, well that one, it turned out okay. I think it looks cooler than it actually is. Ow. This is our drone. Get your own guests. This is our probe. The one time we exit on that side. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? 
A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. How do we know that? This will not be easy. They like died? Looks like there's some ore. Shepherd's one weakness, monkeys. Gold! Yeah. B, why, 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 why? Nice. Okay, well, uh, the monkey took it, so now what? Do we just blast the monkey? Do you think the monkey's close? Anybody have any ideas on the monkey? Doctor? You think it's up here? Alright, I'm willing to try. What? You think it's the monkeys in there? There's something in there. No? Where's the monkey? Hmm. Oh, well, we might as well just move on. We did our best. Monkey took it. Maybe the monkey's at one of the other question marks. up here and an X marks the spot for monkeyness to the ruins first Woo. oh no no oh, geez oh man Talkative. X, X, Y, A, Y, X. What do we get? What do we get? Cryo explosives and incendiary rounds. Why are you pulling your guns out? Oh my gosh. I will call you back. Like, literally, give me like 15 minutes. Hey. That looks like a monkey town. That looks like where monkeys live. Die, monkey scum! We gotta search all these monkeys? This monkey doesn't have it. 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 Smuggy doesn't have it. Smuggy doesn't have it. None of the monkeys had it. Is that the last monkey? I feel like I'm researching monkeys. Um. Oh no. Oh no, that's a lot of monkey things. That's a lot of monkey colonies.
Oh, maybe that's that doesn't look like a monkey colony. That looks like a mining outpost. What? Loading zone or something? Whoa! I will flip you. I'm trying. The monkeys know how to mine? Do you have it? No. What are these monkeys doing in the mine? At least they're not hostile monkeys. Is that it? That's all that's in here? Wait, another door? How'd the monkeys figure out how to, like, get in here? I guess it's just a button, huh? Hello, monkeys! This monkey doesn't have it. Hey, what about you, monkey? No. That monkey said no. A couple doorways. Hey, monkey, you have it? What about you, monkey? You're freaking out on the wall. The data module. We got it. It is a miracle. The data module is still intact. It was the monkey the that was freaking out. To relay this info to your superiors. It's always the freaking out monkey. That's why you don't take things that aren't yours, monkey. Who just shot at us? Oh, oh, jeez! The gather here? Oh wait, I gotta switch guns. Man, they're right on top of us. They're coming! What the? Sure are noisy. You guys good on your side? What are you even shooting at? Man! You two. I think we're clear. Monkeys dipped out. What do we get? What do we get? Striker, scorpion, and a mercenary. All right, one more location to discover. What? What? Bring it on. Boom! Almost shot the doctor in the head. Because she was running out in front of it. Alright, there must be more. Keep your eyes peeled for monkeys. They turned into geth. I knew there was something suspicious about the monkeys. Technically, couldn't geth survive on this planet? Hmm. 
Monkey's still chilling out here. Can't even shoot him. Trust me, I just tried. All right, well, the last location on here is that bottom corner. We're kind of facing it now. Let's go for it. I wonder if we can we make it up that mountain right there? Somewhere in there. We go back out through the canyon and see if we can access it easier from that other side. Oh! That was uneventful. Come on, come on! Whee! Oh, that would have been a dope jump to go off of. If I had only known. Alright, so we gotta get up into those craggly mountains. the map it's almost directly to our right this looks like our best shot let's do it come on oh don't fall down there staying on this we got this we got this we're making it we're making it oh jeez Okay, is it really all the way down? Is it down there? No, it's on. We don't want to go down there. We want to go around. Ah, crap. It's probably the ancient monkey temple that we're trying to get to. Oh, jeez. This is fine. Okay, I have a hard time believing they want us to go over the Craggle Mountains. Oh no! <laughs> I think we can go around over there. What? That's the edge? That's the edge? But I need to get to the monkey place. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Back up through here, left and down. Man try and cut the corner again I gotta know I gotta know what's over there ooh almost flipped it been my whole goal. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can we get up on top of that mountain range? Or can we get up there? Let's see if we can get up this mountain range. Whee! Okay, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on! Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Alright. So we just gotta keep circling around. It's the mountain peaks of monkey. that gold then we gotta go across that little peninsula that little peninsula right there that mountain pass mountain craggle Ooh, mako don't go down there 
There's a bad spot. Yeah, over here. Woo! Can you imagine being in this while I'm driving? Oh no! It was in that moment that he knew. Alright. Okay, we're almost there. Only the bravest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah! I think I can see where it is. Oh no. Don't go too far over. Don't go too far. Ooh. We almost didn't make that. This might be a way cooler picture, actually. Okay, back to uh, traveling to monkey. It may not be a monkey place. We may have been lied to. After all that work. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. This is good, this is fine. We're almost there. It's a ball? Monkey ball? What are these? What are, what are these? A, B, B, X, B. Examining the strange Proethean Prothean artifact reveals a small irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinkets you received from the Asari concert at the Citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return to you, return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain in a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you have you hunt in the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it watching you, studying you. I just communed with the monkeys? Raising a hairy face, fi face, fist, you shake your spear in anger at the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to the caves and the rest of the tribe. <laughs> that was it. That's all you did. <laughs> you fall into a familiar pattern of life. The hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against the other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your head goes to a strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder. Winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It calls a deafening roar as if descending from above. Swooping down on you, a single great eye opens on the underbelly. A glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on a lintea, lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet puzzled. There's a flash of light, and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. 
You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of the Cro-Magnor hunter, captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did that study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will never, probably never solve. Forget about it. The bow. I want to touch it again. Look, there's like floating particles. Look at the particles! Cool. See if they have more stuff like this. What? What? Tony's pulling guns. That's a good point. Why don't we shoot it? I'm losing health. Are you guys losing health? We're losing health. Get back. I don't know why we're losing health. What about a cannon blast? Huh? Was it just an echo? Well, that planet was cool. We got to mess with some monkeys. We found some monkey temple and the Protheans and then the Geth showed up and then the, the stuffs has happened. All right. Um, I think we're going to call the episode there. So thanks for coming, guys. Ooh, let's go ahead and save. See how far we are. How many hours are we in? 11 and a half hours. Cool. All right. Thanks for coming, guys, and checking out my Mass Effect playthrough. Uh, just keeps getting better every time I play. Even with, like, just the exploration is, like, amped up since, like, the first couple planets we went to. Things are actually interesting. We're getting, like, little quests for each planet as we go to them, which is kind of interesting. So... I'm loving it. It's it's going great. And we figured out photo mode today, so now you're going to have to endure me taking bad photos. <laughs> but thanks for coming, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, ding the bell, do all those things that you're supposed to do on YouTube channels. You know how it is. YouTube doesn't want to help us. So you guys got to do it because I do it for you. I play these games to hang out with you guys. Comment below. Tell me what you're doing on your saves. Um, other than that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and become the best you can be. Become Commander Shepard. He's a specter, you know. Believe it!